To think that 3D printing has only been around for a couple of decades, but has already been integrated into the supply chain of most industries, causing the fourth industrial revolution and hurrying the process of innovation and creating new possibilities every single year is truly amazing stuff. I've had the pleasure of rubbing shoulders with some really impressive 3D printing professionals. And so I wanted to share my thoughts on how I feel 3D printing will continue to shape the future and become an integral part in not just the manufacturing process, but our lives as well. Currently, 3D printing is split into two parts. Large 3D printers designed for high productivity in commercial manufacturing environments. And then we have desktop 3D printers, mostly used by consumers for hobbyist activities, prototyping, and one-off projects. Now let's jump into discussing two bottlenecks that are really holding back 3D printing at the moment. So the first is print time. It still takes a really, really long time to print objects, especially larger ones. And the second one is cost. Things are still really, really expensive in the 3D printing space, from materials to the printers themselves. And as both of these issues are mitigated, this will result in lots of exciting opportunities for adaptation of additive manufacturing in several disciplines. Over time, I believe that there will be a fusion between the large industrial 3D printers and the desktop 3D printers helping 3D printing enthusiasts turn their hobbies into really profitable businesses. Let's start with on-demand 3D printing and operating rooms. So planned 3D prints are already being used in surgery rooms today. 3D printed skull parts, knee replacements, etc. We covered some of these in the initial videos of this presentation. But imagine a world where on-demand 3D printing technology can scan parts in a matter of seconds and print in a matter of minutes. This would make it possible to 3D print on command in operating rooms. It is very possible that someday we will see a 3D printing tech in scrubs in the operating room 3D printing parts to be utilized during the ongoing surgical procedure. Let's imagine for a second that someone had a really hard fall and their entire kneecap was shattered. So in the operating room, the other healthy kneecap can be scanned into a 3D software program and then an exact mirror image of it can be printed and it would be a perfect fit for the replacement of the shattered kneecap rather than a cookie cutter, one size fits all kneecap piece. Since our body is symmetrical in many ways, this can be applied for various different surgeries, especially orthopedic ones. So let's switch gears now and discuss the possibility of on-demand 3D printing of clothing in clothing stations. So we covered various 3D printed garments which had cutting edge 3D printed designs with some even having artificial intelligence capabilities as you see in the picture here. Now in the future, we may see kiosks and malls and department stores where individuals simply step in to get scanned and measured precisely. And then on a digital screen, they can see how they would look in various sizes, shapes, colors, and designs of the clothes that they're aiming to purchase. They can then order and pay for their clothing right on the spot. Or even better, when the technology becomes even faster, they can wait for a little bit and have their clothing 3D printed and handed to them the same day or even the same hour. Think about how convenient that would be for people looking for prom dresses, wedding dresses, men's suits, custom fitted hats. The possibilities are endless. The same can apply to shoes ranging from sneakers to high heels. Your feet get scanned and then you choose your ideal shoe right then and there. The design capabilities would be infinite and the companies would love this because they don't have to worry about not selling out their inventory. Their products would be printed once purchased and no excess of products or materials wasted would occur. It's a win-win. So let's now talk about an industry where I think 3D printing is going to be widely used and in the not so distant future. Now imagine pharmacies having specialized 3D printing pharmaceutical machines which can 3D print custom medications with just the right amount of dosage and with delayed release capabilities. The surgically precise capabilities of 3D printing on a micro level has the potential to create more physically porous designs 
options, which allows the tablets to dissolve quickly and be swallowed easier. You can manipulate the tablet to really suit the individual needs of the patient. Medications that are 3D printed layer by layer can allow for controlled material bonds at the microscopic level. Furthermore, scientists are currently working on 3D printing medications that will have unique delayed release responses and even personalized mechanisms to introduce medication into the body itself. So aside from pharmaceuticals, let's now mention the over-the-counter cousin of pharmaceutical medications, which is vitamins. I think that 3D printed personalized vitamins is not far off from being a reality. Not everyone needs all the vitamins and minerals that make up your standard multivitamin and different people need different dosages of various vitamins and minerals depending on how depleted they are. For some, having too much of something in the system is actually unhealthy. Imagine a world where one can take a rapid vitamin profile test and then have their ideal multivitamin 3D printed for them in a matter of minutes. Also, there are certain diseases like genetic mutations of the MTHFR gene that can make people taking vitamin B12, for example, in the cyanocobalamin state sick. Whereas if they take the vitamin B12 in the methylcobalamin state, they can tolerate it. These types of issues go overlooked because multivitamins come in standard dosages and with a one solution fits all type of approach. But all of our bodies are different, our makeup is different, we all have unique needs, ailments, and absorption issues. Vitamins custom tailored to the individual can prove to be a much healthier way to supplement. Now let's pivot into the sustainable home and home construction industry. Although the possibility of 3D printing homes and finishing them out in under 24 hours is already a reality, and we covered that in previous videos of this workshop, I feel as though this has not been utilized anywhere near its full potential, and the real bottleneck here holding back this process from being widely utilized across impoverished areas is government assistance and investment. So maybe we'll see this whole process sped up a bit with people like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or a similar entity getting involved in this initiative. I believe that as this technology is improved and as the process becomes more cost efficient, there will be a large scale adaptation of this technology aided solution across the globe. I can also foresee a situation where in places like America, summer homes can be built using this method for just one season, and then the material can be reused for the next season for someone else's summer home. Think of it as like a mobile home that stays steady for just one season. As far as third world countries go, better sewage systems connected to the built home integrated into the building process may incentivize impoverished countries with a lot of disease issues due to people going to the bathroom outdoors to adopt this technology. Apologies for being a little crass, but the reality is that about 1 billion people in the world still go to the bathroom outdoors due to a lack of sanitary bathroom access. Now I know I touched upon the possibility of having 3D printed custom shoes in a slide before this one, but this is kind of a topic that strikes home since I have really, really weird feet and it's really hard for me to find a shoe that fits well. So I'm gonna dedicate a whole slide to it and discuss 3D printed custom shoes and designs. You've all walked into a shoe store where you have like limited options and you typically have to wait five to 10 minutes each time for the worker to bring you different size shoes only to find out at the end that your particular shoe type and size is not in stock. Even in a shoe store that's really heavily stocked, it's hard to find shoes that fit. Now imagine a world where there are kiosks set up where you can scan your feet and choose your personalized design in your desired brand and the shoes are custom 3D printed for you. The customizability and variations of designs, shapes, laces, etc. can virtually be infinite and you can have a screen in front of you where you're able to custom select all these different options. Sure, you may have to wait a day or two for the finished product to be delivered to your home or store for pickup, but the idea of having dress shoes, sneakers, sandals, you name it, which are custom tailored to your foot is worth a bit of weight. I would totally pay two times the cost and wait a long time if I got shoes that were a perfect fit for my feet. And now we're gonna go from shoes to teeth because I'm not the best at transitions. 
But imagine this, scanned and 3D printed dental guards that you can pick up the same day and it could be in the comfort of your home. It's not unlikely that at home desktop 3D printers will have the capability to print in bio-friendly filament materials such as biocompatible resin and that rather than use third party services like Invisalign for many thousands of dollars, you'll simply be able to scan your smile once and print a succession of how many ever retainers you need to get there and swap them out when the time is right. Even if this is not available on at-home 3D printers, there can be kiosks at malls and at medical centers, and this means that straight teeth and more beautiful, confident smiles will be more affordable for everyone, not just those with dental insurance and $5,000. And similar to what we were saying about clothing booths, I believe 3D printing will be adopted in the jewelry and accessories market as well. Imagine taking your fiance to your local jewelry shop where you can not only customize the message on the rings as we do now, but customize really unique shapes and also have your finger scanned so that the fit is perfect, hopefully just like the marriage. So as the price of printers and the materials become more and more affordable and the print time becomes much faster, I can foresee a future where 3D printing is widely integrated across all industries across the globe. And I could see a future where both computer-aided design and 3D printing software programs are integrated and adopted into the elementary school curriculum all the way up through college. I see a future where high school graduates are proficient at using both CAD software and 3D printing software and are well equipped to adapt it into their everyday lives. Similar to how Microsoft Word and Excel spreadsheets was taught when I was going to school. So in closing, aside from the above, I also feel that this will be a game changer for the transportation industry and destinations on many deliveries. I believe since things will be 3D printed on demand much more often, rather than warehouses holding estimated mass produced inventory in a specific location, things will be printed locally and so there will be much less need for cross country trips to deliver, which will save gas money and unnecessary pollution. I can also foresee drones delivering 3D printed objects which are also much more environmentally friendly than gas guzzling delivery trucks. To all those who watched all four of these videos, I hope you guys learned a lot. I mean, we started with what 3D printing is, the workflow of 3D printing, some of the simpler concepts, and then we jumped into how 3D printing is applied in the real world. And we covered everything from 3D printing homes to impressive cars to how it's used in the medical sense. And then afterwards, we even got into a little bit of the dark side of 3D printing and covered those topics as well. And with this, we have concluded the 3D printing workshop presentation. You guys got through it. Congrats. I know it's not easy to sit there and listen to someone else talk about something and stare at a screen all day. And God knows we've been doing a lot of that with all the zooming and the state of the world at the moment. However, I would absolutely love to continue putting out this type of content. So please do support it by liking and sharing it. If you have any questions, any questions at all, I try to get to all the questions in the comment sections. So definitely feel free to ask a question in the comments. No question is too silly. Whether it's basic or advanced, I promise I'll do my best to try to get to it. And if you are an educational institution utilizing this material for your course curriculum, please do reach out to us and let us know. Stay safe, stay cheery, and most importantly, stay hungry to keep learning more about tech, about innovation, and about its amazing integration into our beautiful yet complex world.